Ugh, what a nice day. Whenever I looked at a skeleton, I'm fascinated. Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour. The skeleton is of a dragon type Pokemon. The theory that it had an accident while it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. Backwards walking. The rock is a meteorite. Old stone. The fact is, the old doesn't even have any value because it's rather pretty old. But. Beyond here. I'm playing backwards, BTW. Okay, now play it normal. Okay. Time to go to the gym. <clears throat> Love these guys. Pokemon Gym, where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of a museum. Yeah, it's great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I'll give this to you. Fresh water. Some of you guys can't hear it or not. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. It's just between you and me. Normal, normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now I'll explain about the gym itself. In this gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is nice to meet you, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. Anybody ask? We have to beat them into telling us. I hang around Akron Gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I'll warn you, I'm strong because I spent an entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. So I got this, okay. Nerd Billy. School Key Carter. What's up, Carter? Nerd. Put pat rat or patrat, either one I call it. I call it patrat. 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 So basically, what happened is that I had to. I recorded this gameplay, to be exact. I recorded the gameplay, and. Okay, he's ordering on. Not gonna do it in time. Um, I recorded gameplay of this, and freaking all my files got corrupted. So I had to go through all my files, figure out why it corrupted, and freaking fix it. So that was a that was sad because I beat the gym leaders and defeated Team Plasma. Had some cool commentary, and that was nice, but it got corrupted, so I had to, um, not redo it, because I don't feel like doing it again, <laughs> and that was, like, a while. And if you want to see my playtime, hold on. Ah, that sucks. There you go. You want to learn Razor Shell? Yes, finally. I'm gonna get rid of. I want to say I want to get rid of Tail Whip. It's a good move. Um, I need a different move though. 
Sorry, there's construction going on right outside my house. They're cutting down the trees and stuff. I may be bookworm, but I'm not a bug Pokemon. And my Oshuat's turning into a Duat. So Jack is evolving. Ooh, I love telling people the reason behind my name for my Pokemon. Um, I used to not, you know, uh, nickname any Pokemon, but I said, hey, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, gonna give them names. So the reason why, um, freaking Oshawa is named Jack, which you can look at the bottom screen, the reason why he's named Jack is because, one, Sam because Samurai Jack, and he reminds me of a Samurai. Then we got uh, Lillipup, who I named Duke because it's like a common dog name. And Hounder is like a big bulldog. I was going to pick Snubble, but I don't know if he's obtainable in this game. Then we have Blaze. Blake, Paul Um, I It's because I have a friend named Blake at school, and I don't know why. He just has like a, uh, how you say, a fiery passion. But he's just really funny. Then Perry. Um... I don't even know why I named this one Perry. It was just uh, a bird name. Then we got Ban Brannigan because he's an electric type. And I like calling him Zap Brannigan. <laughs> That's the reason behind these names. Now, now we have that bookworm kid. Tell me more. First recommendation is called Nice to Meet You Pokemon. Alright. So, this bookshelf is children's books. Nice to meet you Pokemon. Do you want to read the book? It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He's with a small brown Pokemon. This memo, there's a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader Renora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions? And come find me. Now, this is the first question. What is the, po what is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on the bookshelf in the middle row. Try and find it. Don't hear me answer it. They wouldn't do anything easy, so I bet it's right here. It was to tell this little girl I need to get to. I need to use this. Hello, Shannon. You found a memo already? You're looking for books. Teehee, in fact, I am also reading his book about Pokemon. It's about Tapic. I wonder if this is the first Pokemon you met in this gym. No, it's not. Teehee, okay. What was the first Pokemon you battled at the end of the gym? There's a hint on the bookshelf to the left. This bookshelf of her Pokemon, the biology of her cat. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I do not care. Ooh, this. There is a memo on the back cover. As I thought, the question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside his body, and he gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? This book? Well, well, well. is this like fire? Because it says fire. Um, then it's a tapig, but if it's like a smoke, regular smoke. Okay, it's flames. Okay, it flames. I thought I was talking about different smoke because Mushani is also kind of a dust. Yes. See, what a pity. The book about tapig says it gives off flames from its nostrils, but it's not well. It can give off only smoke. It's slightly different from it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. Tee hee. Well, then it might be here. Hmm, I see. Did you find the memo? Flame burns out of body. It's the structure of a freaking. It wasn't even a Pokemon. It was a freaking dream. Okay, we gotta do a quick little Pokemon battle, and then we can head off to the gym. Satami. I'm gonna call it that. Oh, that's a hurtier. And he revolves at level uh, 17. So Duke can be a loyal dog Pokemon at any time. Let's just use our razor shell for the first time. Ooh, person actually uses X moves. I mean, X uh, items. 
I don't really use the axe attacks and axe defenses and stuff like that because I have no really use of them. So I'm gonna use this again. I should have went for the focus energy. Yeah, that would have been better. So that can be strong, just in case. So I can get a, a critical or a stronger hit onto it. Now that I got that. Alright, now I'm going to go for the razor shell. Check out. He's going to use bite and almost tries to kill me, but not. And we get the critical hit, like I said. Maybe I should put a hurt here. I mean, I hurt you, um, Duke. Thank you, ma'am. Return a book to a shelf after reading. This is the rule you need to read book. When you read a book. This is a book about general studies, structure, locomotive, but locomotive. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I wonder if any of this matters. Because it's been a while since I played this. Delicious pot. This is a book about a children's book. Sweets for Pokemon. Poffins. Yes. Poffins. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Children's book. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you manage to stop being tricked by the questions? Now, this is the last question from this bookshelf. Move two backwards, move one to the left, move two forward, move one to the right, move one backwards. One, two, one. Right. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not even caring about what I'm looking for. This is not the book you're looking for. The dots to drop. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god, how many books are there? It can't be that much. Pokemon Biology of Sunivy. Oh my god, this is... Can I find a book on Oshawa? That would be nice, actually. Ah, that's nice. Biology of Oshawa. I'm, I'm not even trying to, like, get that back down. Like... You know what? Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm actually gonna take it seriously. Cause I was just like trying to do this like all the way. Try to do this differently. Hold on. One second. From two bookshelf from this bookshelf move two backwards, one to the left. Two, one to the left. Two forward, one to the right. And move one backwards. One, two, left, one, two. Um, that's what you said, right? From this bookshelf. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Soon! Sorry. Did you manage to get this trick? This is the last question from this bookshelf. Move two backwards. One to the left. Two forward. Move one to the right. Move one backwards. That's the rest of my map. From this bookshelf. I don't not know what I'm looking for. From this bookshelf. One, 
two, one, one, two, to the right. I can't go anything to the right. Now one backwards. This is actually irritating me. Oh, you're going to actually tell me. Okay, thank you. Okay, she has a little pup that's a level 16, 15, okay. Even better. <clears throat> now I'm gonna get everybody healed up. Samurai! It's gonna make more sense when I get Samurai. Okay. I'm gonna use Tackle, take him down, and get our XP. Now we're gonna switch out because he's gonna bring out another Lily Pup. And we're trying to get Duke evolving, so we're gonna have to uh, switch him out. And we can't let Perry stand out, so we're gonna have to um, get Perry some action into this as well. Okay. We're gonna use Takedown. And she uses Leer, because I missed the Takedown. Alright. Gonna use Takedown once more. See if I can get it, hit it. Oh, I didn't quit it. Alright, use his bite. Oh, that is actually kind of strong on me. Let's see how that does against you. Like, taste of your own mess. Oh, Duke is so close. Okay, she uses the Lollipop again. I'm gonna keep it up with Duke. This one's kind of the same. Use bite. That does not do a thing. And Duke is down with a critical hit. Dang it. Alright. I haven't used Brannigan just yet. I'm gonna save it and use Incinerate with um this because I'm not I I like Semi Sage because I want Semi Sage. Not Semi Sage. Uh Semi Seer. Semi Sage is the grass type one. Oh that did nothing. Okay, uh scratch. That does nothing. That is super powerful. I I need to do some off camera grinding. Say again. All right, I'm going with Jack again. Uh, the reason why Jack is doing so good is because Jack has his Mystic uh, Water. All right, I'm gonna use Razor Shell in the battle. I wanted to get uh, Lily Pup. Uh, to evolve sometime this episode. Alright. Oh, did it again. You'll meet Jim later soon. This is the last book. Now read the last book. This is the book of Pokemon Biology of Tepe. Do not care. Alright, and it, oh, it opens. Yeah, I forgot about this. Hold on one second. There we go. It has the bottom of my button. Now, can, alright, I need you guys to hold on for just one more second. I can't pause, I can't pause the video, so you guys gotta hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let me just put my headset back on. A hidden staircase. Wow, a sta hidden staircase. Now, I like to think this came from my voice. <laughs> so, it confirmed we have talked. This is different. 
Okay, my phone is going dead. And before we fight Lenora, we gotta heal our pokes. This is actually kind of beautiful. Okay. Healing up the pokes. Okay, the Pokemon Center is right there. But I do 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 Alright, welcome. Tired. Well, we have to rest. Mm, let's talk about, um, I didn't have a real topic today. I just I made a quick video because, you know, I'll make up for the ones that I didn't do. Oh, and sorry guys that all my videos will be landscape like this. Um, you guys saw how the screen was tiny on the last one, so I'm doing it like this for now. Oh, and you missed the battle with N. That was so, that was a nice one. Alright, we have everybody healed up, all our pokes done. You know, something I wish that they brought back from uh, the Pokemon games is have our Pokemon walk behind us. I know there's like a lot of Pokemon, but I still want that back. Okay. Welcome. The director of the Nakarain's Museum, the Nakarain Gym Leaders, is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with Pokemon. You're so lovingly raised. Lenora. Do, 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 do. You guys can't lie. We all loved Lenora and Iris. Not because of our race thing, but because of an awesome thing. So it, uses the t it has an intimidate ability. I'm obviously going to go for the focus energy. And after that, I'm going to go for the razor shell. Uh, it's trying to lower my defense, but I'm not going to take that like that. Actually, this battle could go a lot quicker. I have, she has two Pokemon. Uh, it's the Hardier and I guess the Machino, something like that. Let me use Ray Shell. Probably not going to get critical this time. Oh, he's just takedown. Oh, God, that's really strong. Now, with that move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. Alright, I don't have any types of revives, and my strongest poke is this one. Oh man, I'm done. GG. Do I have a Pokemon with Quick Attack? Oh, we killed itself. Never mind. Nobody gets the experience. That's cool. That was just a memory thing. Right. Watch out. There we go. Okay, I don't have any winning strategy for this. I'm just straight up going in. I might lose. Straight up. So I'm just going to fast forward this one. Incinerate. Retaliate. Done. I'm not going to get anything done. Quick attack. No, not even that. I need to be faster. Well, this is just going to be an incentive to train my poke. And you charge. Why do I feel like charge is the only thing to charge up my electric type moves? And I lost. Man, that sucked. I was actually really hoping to, you know, beat her this episode. Okay, guys, so I guess that's how it's going to be. I'm going to go train. I'm going to grind. Get my Pokemon up. And I'm going to make sure. Before, I'm not going to. I'm going to let you guys see that Herdier is going to evolve. Lollipop's going to evolve into Herdier. So you guys can watch that too in the next episode of Pokemon Black and White Adventures. Now, you guys stay tuned. And also. Put some nicknames in the comment because I'm going to be catching another Pokemon soon. And I want you guys to give me some nicknames. So thank you. And I'll catch you guys later. So let's save. Let's just quickly save before I forget. Let us write down our adventure. Let these dots. Let the bot dots. Ah, uh, yes, that's nice. Alright.
double save. Just to be sure. Always double save. Triple save should be, you know, on point. Alright guys, catch you later. Peace.